Ta'ala's beloved servant there is a sign of his beloved servants those people that Allah Ta'ala loves one sign of those who Allah Ta'ala loves is that Allah Ta'ala Allah's barakat his blessings and mercies when they are being distributed then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those people who Allah Ta'ala loves and holds dear Allah Ta'ala gives to those people. Just like for example, these blessed days and nights that are confronting us, that are in front of us, and the importance of these days and nights is such, this is enough for us to understand that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in His kitab Azim in the quran Hakim, Allah Ta'ala has sworn by these nights. So how important, how great and how elevated these nights must be. So, in these days, in these nights, Allah Ta'ala, such people, to such people, to such individuals, Allah Ta'ala saves them from all bad things. And Allah Ta'ala, for their hearts and their bodies, Allah Ta'ala directs them towards His ibadat, instills them in business in His ibadat. So this is the sign, the one sign that Allah Ta'ala loves these people. Otherwise, Allah Ta'ala would never give tawfiq, the ability to somebody that a person can partake and consume from the rahmah, the mercy of Allah. And many people, there are many others who are in, uh, in negligence and laziness and wasting their time. And Allah Ta'ala is due to Allah Ta'ala's preference or Allah Ta'ala's decision this has occurred. And Allah Ta'ala calls somebody to his amal. If Allah Ta'ala wants to give, if Allah Ta'ala wants to distribute, Allah Ta'ala says that I will select those who I prefer, who I like, who are beloved to me, and I will give them more. So this is a sign of the friends of Allah, who Allah Ta'ala loves, that when such days come, and such blessed nights come, and such opportunities come, and such times come, that you'll see, if you see those people who are busy in the ibadat of Allah, who are holding fast on to that action or those actions and they appreciate the days and the nights and they don't waste the moments, the seconds, the hours, then consider that these people are the beloved servants of Allah. Allah Ta'ala has instilled the light into their hearts that take, Allah Ta'ala says, take from me all the goodness you can take and loot as much as you can. And this is the big mercy of Allah. And there are other people, many others that when such blessed days come and nights come, they don't care. It's the same life, the same day and night, the same pastime, the same sins, and the whole life situation and schedule agenda is the same. Allah Ta'ala says that when there's a person who is in a fajr or he's a negligent or a sinner, but in such days there are events, there's history that these 10 days I'm not going to commit a sin. These 10 days normally I commit uh, impure actions or bad actions but in these 10 days I'm not going to in- commit impure or bad actions I'm, I'm going to control myself for 10 days and for those ten, for these 10 days he leaves the actions of sin that he normally does so Allah Ta'ala becomes so pleased with that person that Allah Ta'ala includes his name or her name in the list of the walis of Allah because Allah says that this person appreciated my ni'mah and when a person appreciates something Allah Ta'ala gives that's a big thing because the ni'mahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are azim they are great. We need to recognize what, when we see something good, we need to understand this is from Allah Ta'ala's mercy. That's why from the beginning, brother, from before the first 10 days of the Hajj, the walis of Allah, the friends of Allah become alert and they make their friends alert, their colleagues alert, that look, these 10 days that are to come, that many days come and opportunities come, but they said that this this opportunity, this time that's to come, let's 
re- utilize it correctly, spend it correctly, let's change ourselves for the better. So Alhamdulillah, Allah Ta'ala gives the tawfiq to the human being to do amal. And this is Allah Ta'ala's fadl and his karam and the person does this. Just like this is Allah Ta'ala's fadl, that we sit down for a little while. Otherwise, what else is it? We sit down for dhikr to remember Allah. This is Allah who's given us the tawfiq. He's made us busy in His remembrance in these precious nights, in great nights. Every night is equivalent to Laylatul Qadr, the value. So imagine how great each night is. And Allah Ta'ala has allowed us to sit down. And what do we not attain in Laylatul Qadr? All du'as accept everything. And there's nothing in these ten nights of Laylatul Qadr that Allah Ta'ala has stopped or received from the dunya to the akhra. Allah Ta'ala will give everything. Everything, everything will be given and distributed. This is a great, great time. This every moment in these first 10 days and nights of the Hajj are so valuable and precious that there's nothing that can compare. So fortunate are those men and women who from the first day control themselves. Okay, fine, you're habitual in sinning or you're lazy, etc. But these 10 days you said that doesn't matter what happens, I'm not going to go towards darkness and bad. And those people who pass these 10 days and nights in, in a good way, even if they don't do a lot of ibadah worship, but they save themselves from the sins, because to sin is to disrespect these days. Allah Ta'ala has made these days so great. Allah Ta'ala has sworn by the nights, the, these nights, walayal in ashur, and still we disrespect and dishonor these days and do sins and do bad actions and have bad manners, then this is ungratefulness. We're not paying gratitude to Allah. And Allah Ta'ala said that I have not put any special big time ibadah in these days and nights. There isn't nothing that we have to really exercise ourselves and, and, and exhaust ourselves. No. But yes, the walis of Allah, the friends of Allah have explained one salah. One salah they've mentioned that in these nights we can perform. There's a salah. Then these ten nights, that these nights that have come to us, these ten nights. So there's a specific salah that has been mentioned by the walis wala. That this salah is great. It's a high status salah that we can pray. And I'll explain that and present that to you. May Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq that we can implement this. And this is on our desire and on our passion. Allah Ta'ala knows our desire and our thinking. May Allah Ta'ala accept our thinking, our positive thinking, because we should do ibadah in the night. So why don't we implement the worship in the night with the salah? I'll explain it to you and it's your choice. Because this is uh, the habit of the walis of Allah, our pious predecessors, to spend the night in these ten nights like this. is four rakah salah. And the first rakah, rather in all four rakats, you have to recite the same thing. First, Ayatul Kursi three times after Fatiha. Yeah? Everybody knows Ayatul Kursi, the verse of the throne. It's not difficult. And Surah Ikhlas three times. Qul huwa Allahu ahadu nillahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufuna. Three times. And then once each over Surah Falaq and Surah An-Nas. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq. And قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ So in each rakah, in each of the four rakats, three times Ayat al-Kursi, three times Surah Ikhlas, one time Surah Falak, and one time Surah Nas. And then you have to do the hamd, the tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beautifully, beautifully praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Raise your hands. And whatever dua you request, it will be accepted. So what is the time to pray this salah? When everyone is sleeping, that's when you should pray. In other words, the third portion of the night, the third part of the night. That's the hajjud time, isn't it? The hajjud time, the best time, the third part of the night. So people, mashallah, you get up for hajjud, isn't it? For the tahajjud salah. So the third part of the night, the last part of the night, pray this salah in the last part of the night. Whatever dua you request after that, for the dunya, the akhara, for illness, for rizq, for illness cure, for halal, good things, lawful things. We are so dependent. So many of our issues are hanging. So if we get such a night and then such a salah, subhanallah, and Allah Ta'ala says, I will accept it, then what else do we need? Is it difficult? Is it difficult? So this is a beautiful salah. And in this salah we should try and strive for this. These nights Allah Ta'ala has given us these great nights. With Allah Ta'ala's grace and mercy we should pray this salah every night. If not then just pray at least one night. Make a list that after this dua on this night I'm going to ask Allah with this dua. On the next night I'm going to ask for this certain thing. And on this night I'm going to ask for this thing. We can ask for everything from Allah. Whatever there is Allah Ta'ala is the one who gives. There's nobody else who gives. Is there? So why are we embarrassed to ask from Allah? Whatever we need from Allah, ask from Allah. Isn't it? So this is the night in which, do you, you will have understood what I'm saying? Inshallah, shall I repeat? Revise? So four rakah salah, 
nafal in the last, the third part of the night, the third sector phase of the night. And in each rakah, obviously we recite Surah Fatiha in the beginning. After Surah Al-Fatiha, three times recite Ayat Al-Kursi, the verse of the throne. Three times Surah Ikhlas. Once Surah Falak and once Surah An-Nas. There's four, and we recite this after the Fatiha. After that, when we do the Hamd of Allah, we praise Allah, a lot of Hamd and praise nicely. And then the way of after Salah, you recite Durood, and then whatever Hajat need you present, Allah Ta'ala will inshallah fulfill and accept. So anyway, these are beautiful nights, great days, great nights, great opportunity. The pious predecessors have explained these amal, these deeds to us. So we learn from them whatever we ask in the time of the day, in the evening. The biggest thing though, remember, is to save ourselves from the sin and avoid the sins. May Allah give us all the tawfiq. Ameen.